The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and this is the Art of Politics. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. It takes at least five to six Republicans to beat up one Democrat. Today, <laughs> we have three Republicans, uh, two... What you, In case you're confused, you? this is Mr. Fiction, we're fact. Get it on, <laughs> get it on too, All right, go ahead. All right, so uh, as I said, there's, there's only three here, but we do have a senator, so we'll listen to how are you, Mr. Yvonne? Well, thank you for having me on the yes, show. Yes, you are a senator, Mr. Senator. Kevin, thank you. Welcome to the show. Yeah. It's hey, always uh, a pleasure it. to have Nashville's fire. Your name is? <laughs> well, I know you someplace. Carl, yeah. welcome to the show. <laughs> okay. Let me lay the ground, rule, ground rules here real quick. Yep. Oh. What's going to happen is most of the time you're, you're going to ignore him. Oh, He's going to throw out a lot of fiction. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll just put out the facts. Oh, all right. Okay, just all right. Understand. Uh, uh, all right. Okay. So, uh, Ken, how are you? Good. Let's get it. Uh, is he are your you host? Too crazy for <laughs> I am his oh, Wait, 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 is it Mr. Seidel. I yes. know. I, oh, by the way, let's let's just let everybody know you are a senator. Yes. How the hell that happened? I have no idea. I do. But you are a senator. He's called, it's called prayer. It's called work. All right, work, That's prayer, right. and congratulations. Well, so I consider you not just one Republican, but one Republican plus ten percent. All right. <laughs> and then you, but you do a TV show. Yes. You also, uh, Mr. Seidel, yes. do a TV show and. Uh, the Soma has a TV show, yes. and he also does a show with me. So the, the, that's quite fascinating. But before we get into probably talking about stuff like that, I want to ask you, too, how crazy are you? You have the House. You have the Senate. You have the Speaker of the House as Republicans. And yesterday, you opened up a Republican office? Yes. What's so you divide that? the Republicans? Yes. So there are, th so can't you, can, Avod, you're in the Senate. I am. Can't these guys get their act together? You have everything you want, I, and now I, you. Can I answer you on this since you brought this up? It's a simple fix. All the Republicans all come together and work together. But we have about 125, <coughs> maybe 130 of us that are real strong conservatives that believe in the platform and the Constitution. We believe we oh, voted in our on. caucus leader, but that's over yeah, and done yeah. with. We're moving on and doing the Give people's business. Break. Look, uh, Mr. Seidel, did you go over to this uh, opening yesterday? And, I was there, yes. And you said, so you're part of the, this group? Well, I'm part of the HRA. Okay. And uh, part of the group, I All guess. Right. So uh, you but guys, I'm, a, I'm a conservative. You guys have the, the Can I explain Senate? the HRA so, I, so the people watching know what okay, that is? Okay, go ahead. The HRA is the House Republican Alliance. We are a group that comes together and we meet and we have a 24 hour debate site. And we come together for the good of the people in on constitutional and platform issues. We want smaller government. Am I right? We want yes. we want government out of our, your pockets. We want them out of your homes. So we we, we want a responsible government want, too. That's right. Senator, that's what we're they, about. They want smaller government, but they create another part of government. Like how? Is that what Republicans do anyway? They talk about small government when you end up like like. Uh, you know, uh, the well, god a... of Republicans is, is uh, what's his name now? Uh, and yet when he left, 
Reagan, when he left, there was a bigger government. Why do you guys keep saying you want smaller government, and then when you get in, you get bigger government? How that, does this happen? A Democratic I it, Congress. I think it's called bipartisanship. <laughs> no. Bipartisanship? Bipartisanship. When, when, when Reagan uh, agreed to certain things, for instance, uh, he made some, 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 uh, some promises, that in, in Congress was supposed to, I think one had to do with the immigration as well. When, when, he, when, when he compromised, and Congress didn't follow through with the compromise, the government got bigger, and more people came over the border. It was, it was a lesson learned for me as a young kid that, you, you know, when you're in politics, you have to keep your word, right? Okay. You have to keep your word. Oh, Democrats so don't know about that. When, when, yes, but they don't trust me. When, when, one, party it, makes so. a, when one party makes a, a commitment, it, you, I was told this at, at my first freshman year, your word is your bond. And when one side doesn't keep their, their end of the agreement, you know. Yes, but the question, I, I don't care how it happens. Why is it that the Republicans always say they want smaller government, and you two are now forming another part of government, which was a Republican within a Republican Party, be another part mm, of the Republican okay, Party? Right. So that's just an added part of your Republican why Party. Why is it even your and concern? why are you doing this? Let me ask well, you something. Why are you doing this? Why is it your concern? No, no. Uh, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll answer in a different way. Go ahead. I, I, we're not splitting up. We're not yeah. adding anybody. We have a group that wants to do a certain thing and explain and debate our perspective on these laws. You're welcome. Um, not you, because uh, you're a yeah, Democrat. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Didn't they say that they sort of work together, but if I go over there, I literally get kicked out? Without a doubt, I'd be the kicking. I'd be the kicking. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Okay. There we yeah. go. But yeah. if any of the other Republicans want to come over, they're welcome. All we want to do is do a better job in getting communicating with our audience, our voters, about what we want to do, and hopefully we can convince them that this is a better way of doing things than running the government. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let's get something really straight here. Mm -hmm. If you would have got your, see, are you listening? No, I'm see, listening. You've been through this anyway. You, you may jump in anyway. Cause I'm, I'm listening. You know, you are a. a no, he's a, a former House member also. Yes, the only reason why you did this is you had a Republican who ran for the speakership, and the Democrats helped the Republican, but he's still a Republican who outsmarted you guys. We won't say and he did And now you want to go out and start something else. Not something else. What do you mean something well, else? Well, you don't want to stay within the Republican Party. We are within no, the Republican. We, we never are. left. You got to understand. Why the, did you do this? The, let me run some you're, by you're you first of all. You're saying explain it. You're saying explain it. They're going to be able to explain can I, it can I run some by you, first of all? I, Carl, I think you've been up there five terms like me, right? Didn't no, no. I've had five terms. I thought this you is were my, there my... What term is this? This is my third term. Your third term. Okay. For the last eight years, we've had issues <coughs> with the individual... Sit back, because I no. think the camera... Okay, but I... You know, I... I don't, you just relax there for don't, a minute and listen. <laughs> Turn your hearing like aid up. Okay? <laughs> for the last seven, eight years, we've had issues there, with okay. this individual. This just didn't happen recently. So many of us that are strong conservatives that believe in the Republican Party, believe in, you know, the Constitution, we stuck together. We voted in our speaker, our in the caucus. Would you let your would you let the new Republican speaker go over and join you guys? Oh, he's more than welcome, yeah. He's more than welcome to come over. We would welcome him over. We wouldn't go. Well, out. we had quite a we had quite a time yesterday, Miss Eva. You'd probably be the co-host here because uh, we had <laughs> we had quite a time there because yesterday it was the, the battle of the speakers. Down comes right. Down comes uh, uh, our our old buddy, you know, and makes Mr. the O'Brien. speech. O'Brien. We're oh, not scared to say his name. Mr. O'Brien. No, no, it's okay. I I don't want to. Very bad honorable me. guy. He comes down and makes a speech. Now, the Speaker of the House, who gets so mad, <laughs> gives up the speakership, right. steps down, makes a speech, and guess who wins? With Republicans. No, 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 no. no he no, wins no. the That's debate. That's not true. 80% of the vote was with the Democrats, because the chair and the vice chairs will not go against the Speaker. Excuse me. What? I got a question. So what? He still won. 
But the bottom he's a line is, he's not winning with Republicans. Yeah, but I'm trying to tell you. Well, wait a minute. But yeah. the whole question was not about uh, Republican or Democrat. It was just about personalities. That's all that that, that it was right, right there. He that wasn't a uh, yesterday. A, yeah, yesterday that issue. Personalities. He, yeah. yeah. He refused no, it was to Republican let me speak. Re re Republic. Do you know no, that I'm, the Democrats didn't even vote on several things? Well, they had Republicans getting up, going back and forth at each other. We just sat there. Well, wait. That's usually the case. When I was there in the House, I remember the Libertarians, the Conservatives, the Moderates, and the Liberals, Republican. They would be up there, and they would be hashing out <coughs> ideas. And I, would, I, I, I watch this. I, I, I love watching people. That's what I, it's, I watch faces. I watch what they do. And I watched the, the Democrats. Because here would be Seth That's right. I mean, fighting with right. uh, possibly uh, somebody from a, a conservative or, or a conservative fighting with the liberal. And or a libertarian. I, or, or a libertarian. And I think the beauty behind and there is a beauty behind that because what is happening, Ken, is there is they're hashing out. They're rubbing this friction, and, and the, I believe that the cream's going to come to the crop, come to the top. However, I have yet to see that in the Democratic Party. And I'm not trying to be critical. Well, I, what? Well, well, I never see well, it happen hold, up hold, there. Hold, 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 on they the well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. First of all, you have the free staters. You have the libertarians. No, you have the Tea Party. And, the and then you have what I don't know. You guys are a combination of no, both of them. You so to, you're so divided. You have the same thing in the Democrat Party. The only thing is you lack guts to stand up for your the constituents. You go by your leadership. You follow the little white sheet go like little puppets. Go by the... That's right. Excuse me. Do I look like a person who, who follows? Yeah, I look at your voting record. Yeah, you follow the Democrat Party. Uh, one w one yeah. of the things I remember, and, I, and, and I'm not trying to be critical because uh, I'm just it's an observation. I have never seen Bill O'Brien going up and down the aisles. But I remember uh, former Speaker Terry Norelli going up and down the aisles. With her hand saying, That's right. "Don't you get up? Don't you get up?" Yep. And and I, I thought, well, where's the independent thought? Where's where's the, you know, you know, where the in you want to know, you guys? I had a bill yesterday. We're going to talk about this for a moment because I think this is pretty important. Good. I had a bill yesterday, which was to study arts and the money, the income that arts bring in. Right? Mm -hmm. It's the weirdest thing. Did we thing. kill that? So listen to Did this. We kill that so, no, so listen to this. So I go up and I say, well, you, you, you guys <laughs> want to vote against it. And I'm going, what are they voting against it for? Well, it's going to cost us money. No, it's not study. So then what happens? I go up to Bill O'Brien. I said, what are you doing? You're going to. So guess what? Up comes my bill. Right? Up comes my bill. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, a, it's a no bill. It's like nothing. That's it's a not study. True. And you guys asked for what? Table it, didn't we table no. it? No. What did we do? You asked for a vote on it. Didn't the Democrats do call that no. roll call? No, you did it. So, so what's the everybody problem? sits down. Mm -hmm. Everyone has to vote on my bill, and I'm going, why a roll call vote did on a pass? bill like this? Did your bill pass? It passed. But then I found out, and this is I'm going to give Bill O'Brien a little bit of credit here. What? That, what'd you say? All right, well, let's <laughs> no, Praise no. the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> no, I, no, no, yeah, he's, yeah. he's, he's, we'll he's keep that tape and play it over and over again. He's, he's not, not going to give, say it slowly, he's going to give God. Bill O'Brien. Nobody said he is. I always <laughs> give Bill O'Brien credit. I mean, uh, hey, he and I go back, they've had some fight. But what I find out is I hear from somebody why he did it, and I asked him. You see, my bill came before the bill that you guys really wanted. It, it was uh, is it right to work, I believe, Bill? And what he wanted to find out was how many Republicans were in the House. Right. So by having a roll call mm -hmm. vote, he could run up, find out well, who is there. Well, we could open up a computer and see it. Oh, yeah, and realize immediately, all right, that he could pass it or they could table it. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that like being smart? 
and and do it kind of like the the, you know, the other speaker did to get the speaker. I, I it's think awesome. it's brilliant. Right. There you go. But the interesting thing, they do it against me, and yeah. all this is a uh, bill the... to look at how much money the odds bring in. And so it's brilliant. But he didn't have anything did to do with where it was. You just happened to be in the right place at the right time. You happen to be a, that's right. <laughs> but you happen to be a pawn in the political process. Hey, was that <laughs> a, a, in line with Eric's bill, by the way? Uh, no. Did, no. 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 Eric, we, we gotta, that, that's a whole other story. He'll be coming on and we'll be talking about that. That's, yeah. that's not. Uh, you know, like Senator, that. he wanted me to go with him on this bill, right? I said, you got to be crazy. This is a, the odds. First of all, we get no money off the tickets. We the only thing we get maybe a meals and rooms tax off the popcorn, that's it. Okay. Very limited, very limited dollars. So he wanted he's looking to get the taxpayers put money into the arts because they're gonna bring a lot of it, money it, in. Ex what they're gonna sell more popcorn? Ex excuse you know? me, I know it's hard for you to understand this. <laughs> My wife's an artist because you're one of the most uncreative <laughs> artistic people I know. What are you I really talking don't. about? I can with my pistol draw lines there in the sand. There we go. With his <laughs> pistol, <laughs> draw a line honest? in the sand. I, I think that's my point. What are you talking okay. about? <laughs> but there's something called culture that yeah. goes along with the odds. Uh -huh. We're losing people. We're losing our, uh, you know, the the our young people are leaving. If we could show that the odds are a force, guess what? People who want to yeah. create businesses want to know several things good companies. They want to know infrastructure. They want to know little things like how much is electricity. And the other is culture and the arts. And well, that's just true. We voted for more money for the charter schools. And now we have a charter school for the arts here in Nashville, that's right. right? You, you know something. The best schools in the you, state you know here something. In and, and I and I love this, Mr. Avod. You, you know why they voted for Did it? Did you vote with us on that to no, support no. charter schools? You know schools? why they voted for why? it? The money's not there, you know. Yes, it is. Yes, it's it in is. the endowment no, no. fund. And these, these people turn around and they say, we don't want to spend money. It's the taxpayers' money. I mean, after, and guess what? They put in four something million dollars into this, and it's not going to the public schools. It's going to a private school. It's not a private school. It they're is. all, by, no, they're all public schools. They're all public schools. Don't you schools. have in your district or here in Nashville, you got one of the best yeah. uh, school, child the schools in the and, state. Uh, I mean, the, What's uh, the, uh, science the science and uh, yeah, science and you got design. one of the best in the state here in Nashua. Excellent. You want to get rid of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. We, we debated on that. And the problem is the charter schools are moving out of the schools. And That's since right. we are losing people all the time, we're not having more kids coming into the schools. We had there is physical property that you could have a school within the school. And guess what? That's how the only way it's going to work because what's what is found out nine out of ten charter schools don't make it. I love it. It hasn't happened the, here in New Hampshire. The financing I is never there. Well, that's because you only give them half the money they give everybody else. That's right. So, well, d did I just Ken, say I, I, nine out Ken, of ten fail? Ken, and he did says you that, that we, bill? You know, they fail because we only give them half the money. Ken, no, no. Then why are you doing did that? Did you vote to support the fund charter schools? Yes, I did. You did. You supported that bill. Yes, I did. So you, right. that's good. So the people in Nashville are probably proud because I know Kyle, <laughs> Kyle and I stood tall making sure that school here in Nashua and others stayed my, afloat. My point is quite simple. There's you guys cry all the time, mm. there is no money, Sounds there like is no time, money. You guys. But you will put $4 million into a charter school and admit that it's only half mm. and it might go out of business. Isn't that no, what I didn't say that. I, I didn't not say that. Sure, don't that's don't what turn the words around. See, 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 see what I told you? I believe I'll the charter schools are receiving what, about five thousand dollars per, per, yeah, per yeah. 55 i think so. and and, uh, and the, the student population is not necessarily increasing is that correct that's it's right decreasing. it's decreasing uh, right across the street state yeah right and so the money that is designated for teachers shouldn't the, shouldn't there be parity with with the charter schools as far as if somebody's going to a charter school i mean it's our job to educate correct and we, to provide a, a, a better education so oh. should they have should there be parity with, with the public school uh there is a, a slight, slight problem. Oh, here we is go. If you don't want public schools, no, that's and not have true. the ability to 
paint them, and I guess cool them, no, they, and to run them. That's not true. And taking people out and putting them into another school that nine out of ten fail, then I agree in charter schools. But to put one, oh, can you tell us what school? Which where where do you they can't in, in New Hampshire? Part, where? Yeah, where in New Hampshire? Part of charter, I haven't seen any. Part of, of charter them. schools is that the families must work. Oh yeah. A with with the school. Right. They, they must have to do donate time. Fundraise. They fundraise. They must do. They do the same. They're involved. involved. You know the, the And when the money goes away from the state, they falter and fail. Ken, Didn't tell we me just one have school. one fail? Was the Phoenix? Ken, Didn't I that can't fail let you because put this out. Well, that I, was a I have to school. stop I him. Know. I can't let you put this out. Tell me one charter school here in New Hampshire failed. Phoenix. In, in, we're Phoenix? in New Hampshire. We're in, here in New Hampshire. No, no, it's, I believe it's called a Phoenix School, and it was for for the very have you heard of this? difficult Never students heard of it. that were having a hard time and giving Never everyone else a hard time. You're talking about and the one they that they took that. over for Na Nashua, and that was in. Merrimack or Bedford? Yes. Didn't they That's move? That's the one. It's a small one. It was a yeah, small one. Yeah, but didn't they move and uh, join forces well, with another see, one? See, now they joined forces with the regular. Fact? It's a fact. What, what, the, it's a fact. The Nashua School Board took it over because it was running it anyway. Do you mm -hmm. know what they did with the students? What did they do? They know. put them back in the classes. Yeah. And do you know what happened when that happened? No, what happened? Just to the same reason why they took them out. The discipline was awful. I mean, you, they, they're disruptive. They, they, I can't. they, they, they ah, can't yeah. be so, controlled. So you're saying that that's uh, because the school hasn't taken care of those uh, children because of their, well, you might call it a handicap. Uh, you're not taking care of them. They the, the support all the other uh, handicapped children for, that have other problems besides uh, being disruptive. Oh, but okay. I agree so with you. So you, you're saying disruptive is a handicap. You're, uh, no, I'm, yeah, I'm saying it's a handicap to the other kids. So, they, they're okay, disruptive. Okay, so what uh, are the teachers it? going to do about it? Well, they, they have very successful groups that can handle children with some of those uh, yes, uh, problems. Yes, it was called the Phoenix School. Yeah, I who, understand who that. did that. And they, but they brought the kids back in to the school. They did not, I, and I don't want to use the word segregation, but I will, but you must segregate particular groups to keep them away from each other to a degree because they they just don't fit. Whoa. And guess what? But did you hear We're the... back in the same thing. No. We're back in the same problem. No. What's so, the solution? That... Well, the solution is charter schools. And uh, <laughs> So you support charter, you're saying? I'm listening. Will you shut up? <laughs> you know, See how we we're going around in circles yeah. here. Yeah. Hey, don't you support moms and dads being concerned about oh, their child's so, education? Oh God, See, that's the problem with the Democrats. He's, he's winding they, up. He's they, winding that's up. the problem the with Democrats. Kids take money away. <laughs> put no, it over here. it's not about the money. It's about God educating bless the America, children. Here's the flag. Wait, do you have the Constitution of the United States? I sure do. We'll see it. I got right see, here. There we go. They, they go like this. No, I, you, I didn't uh, We to. hear about it once because a time. You probably never even opened Listen, it up. Give it to me. I'll shoot it up. You think see, it's a duck that, and you shoot there it. There you go. That's how are the Democrats are. Throw it away. I'll shoot it up. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. We better not be talking about, about ducks. No, I'll, yeah. I'll tell you what. My, yeah. wife, uh -huh. my wife worked in a charter school, which was considered one of the better charter schools in the United States. It was in Air, it's still in Air, Massachusetts. Okay. Considered incredible. She worked there for by 11, the way, 11 years. I consider his wife the better half, by the way. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I met her. She's nice. Yeah, she's yeah, a sweet guy. I don't know what happened to him. They actually let me sit down with him and have lunch one time. No, 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 yeah. no that was nice. Yeah. We did? Yes, you did. <laughs> at the Capitol. And, I, and I, I taken my medication? Or? Yeah. You, you two That's were probably for the whole thing. I didn't know that, that was your wife. Oh, wait a minute. You didn't take your medication because the Republicans hey, were mad at you. Senator? No, I have no problem talking. Do you? I haven't been able to figure it out. The nine years I'm on now that I've been up there, I have not figured it out yet why Democrats want to keep children that in the one-size-fits-all public school, why they won't want parents involved, why they don't want to let kids get another opportunity if the parents feel the school is failing them. I believe, uh, I happen to believe in, in, in education choice. And 
Having grown up with a number of different individuals that learn differently, I have a, a very good friend who is an amazing guitarist, Jared Taylor, and I'll say his name. He's, he's just an amazing guitarist. He, he did not do well through, through school at all and, until he went to Berkeley, Berkeley. where, he, where yep. he graduated second in his class. And this guy can have a conversation and he's talking with you and he's doing his fingers. And, and we used to go from gigs because we used to gig together and, and he'd be driving with his, his this is illegal, with his knees and doing something on the computer and he'd have something in his court and he's driving. Driving. It's not illegal, it's bad. Do not do this. Right. But let, get but it to my point. Trying to be an example here. Will you let him speak? Get it to my point. <laughs> <laughs> this individual learned completely different than, than other people. And I think I was the same way, in, not that I was, I'm a genius, but that when I got, got out of the orphanage, I, I had all kinds of uh, issues where I, I had struggles in my, my younger years. I wasn't catching on in the way that the, the other kids were. And it took me until my latter part of high school that where I started to, to figure out the method. But nobody could catch, catch that in, in the public schools. And I think we talked about the same thing with my hearing. Right. And they didn't catch it. They didn't catch it. This is kind of a handicap. But you need the choice, and we need to promote the choice. Great. The public schools, fantastic. We have them. But there are other schools that are designed. We have these, these micro schools that, that teach you how to run a business, how mm -hmm. to be part of a, a community. You have other schools that, that yes, maybe they, they, they have different uh, social connections that need to be looked at. I was talking to, what's her name, Denise? She has a show here. Macintosh. She went to Egypt. This is cool. She went to Egypt. Mm -hmm. They're taking six-year-olders. They're taking them into the operating room. They're taking them into the nursing department where they're doing CAT scans, and they're showing them how to do operations. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way through they high school. They take them into the operating rooms. Mask and everything. They're, that ought to be fun. Hey, instead <laughs> of the kids are, being yes. on these little things right there, they have a different method. So why not explore it? Why not exploit the fact that we have, uh, we live in the land of free, and, and choice, which is a good thing. Oh, absolutely. Should well, they believe in when it comes to well, abortions, I, well, but that's hold on it. Hold a second. Choice. I come from a family of yeah. inventors, obviously. Right. And that and, didn't work. And, and, mm -hmm. and so choice should be yeah. should be looked at and, 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 and held up instead of uh, this top-down, like, well, we need to control this. And it, we, we don't. No, but this is where you guys are wrong. Oh, what did wrong. I say that was wrong? Wait, how do we wrong? I mean, yeah, how are we wrong? Today. <laughs> you know, <laughs> everybody is wrong if you're not on the Democrat wavelength. No, you're wrong, you're wrong. because you Mike. are Republicans and you say you want small governments and you want to build more schools. No, wait, schools where do we say build more possess. schools? Well, we never said build more schools. School? Where does that come from? Charter schools are moving into old schools that are in their oh, rebuilding. No, no, they're I think, you know, they're old they're buildings. Let, let me, let me, why are they going out of business? One of the no, things... I don't, I don't see them going one, out of business. One of the things that's being that, that's important to understand is when we say we want lesser government, we want to get the government out of people's lives so that the people can be prosperous. We're here to protect your constitutional rights, right. your liberties, your freedoms, so happiness. that you can become that artist that you oh, want to you be. Know, you know something, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go again. This is why you guys hide behind the flag and the Constitution of the United States and wow, I can't and, believe you just said and, that. And, and this country. And, I well, can't well, believe you just said that. Hold on a second. Well, 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 what's hiding behind the flag? You talked you had a disability of learning to a degree. Sure. sure. We have talked about my hearing where I have had an awful disability. You want charter schools. You want charter no, schools. We want you choice. want charter school school choice. We want right, school, right, choice. school choice. And you know what I'm saying to you guys? Why don't you do that in the existing buildings because that is the because, most expensive because part most public of schools charter won't schools, let them. okay? You can do that because it's the same school. The answer, the is, the answer is, is, is because of the, bureau the bureaucracy is so restrictive. And, it, and, and when, when you have a, a need here and, and the people that are surrounded this need know how to fix it, you got to wait for permission to go through this channel, this channel, this channel, this channel to, to fix it. No, hold, hold on a second, hold on a second. The, honest to God, you have a room or a room, uh, a, 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 a big mall, and it's divided. Now, one sells one thing, one sells the other thing. We have uh, two high schools in the city of Nashua that are monsters, just monsters. And the great problem is, is that 
there are less kids coming. You want to go open more schools, or you know, charter schools, and you have buildings, which is the most expensive part of a charter school. And I'm saying to you guys, there is, if you don't think it can work out, in other words, two separate uh, uh, buildings, two, uh, it's two separate schools within one building, and also two separate ways of educating. That's all I'm saying. You guys want to run well, out. And this happens to be the reason why they go out of business, is because when the well, funding stops, the state funding stops, they go out. And where do they do? What happened to uh, Phoenix? It was the rent that they just couldn't afford. It was like $150,000 okay. a year. All right, so, so there's, they there's one. Okay, I well, don't even this, know. The school is taking over. They're going to run something like that in the same facility. They're going to revamp it. And they're going to handle it better. They can't. They're not going to move been, them into the high been school. Out for three years, the kids are back into the the, the regular population. They, they are causing trouble as they did before. And they're going to rehab the building that they moved out of, so that they can put them back in there and and run it as part of the school district, which it was in the beginning. They never caught on to it at the beginning. They didn't help them. It was the Can money. I ask a question? Was the it's feet, the no? money. But you just said you it. they didn't work in that environment. Yeah. They didn't want the, you just said that they can't work in that environment. They're disruptive. So you got to segregate them and handle them in a different way so that they are in a learning mode and could be able to uh, uh, so accept that. So you need that. another building? Well, that doesn't work there's, when they moved them back into I, the population. I will, I will bet you there are three floors. We'll use the, uh, I guess it's the junior high school over on Elm Street, which used to be the high school. That's where my father went and I went. There's probably three floors over there that they certainly could use, or at least Well, why didn't they do floors. that yeah. when they put Well, because guess what? It's, the, it's exactly what you said, is that you have two... Uh, Two forms of, let's say, government, school governments within one, it doesn't work. So, but by bringing yeah, but, them and putting them in another okay. building. Kyle, can I ask you a question? At this school here, wait, I'm going to ignore him for a minute, okay? <laughs> this school that you're talking about, this well, is dealing with troubled kids, right? <laughs> yeah. That are disruptive in a class. So yeah. apparently the principal, with years of education, wants to work and move these children and help and get them into another location where they can better control well, that's so what, they're not that, disruptive. That, that was the approach they took this? originally. Right. Apparently they could not support themselves right. there. And so uh, they were going to disband it. So the school they did was disband still... disband it. All right. They, they brought they, them back in. They had to bring them back in because they, they didn't know what to do with it right no, away. No, they couldn't afford to stay out but there. But see, they cut federal funding. They Throw that out there, too. They couldn't afford it. Right. And the money wasn't there. So why didn't they use Why didn't they use Elm Street School then? Again, and I'm saying don't do it within the system. Okay, wait a minute. You want a charter schools? You agree with that? I want charter schools. I want all kinds of Great. opportunities. Do you want that? In general, yes. Do you I want, want it? choice? Yes. I want it. Let's change the subject. Okay, good. What are these crazy? So why did we just waste ten minutes on this? Wait, wait, wait. What if about you want it? Republicans. Crazy. Forty-seven Republicans write a letter to Iran <laughs> stating that don't believe our president because our government oh, doesn't we go work again. this way. And what did John Kerry and do years ago? And they're called traitors. You're a senator. Did they do the right thing? I think we are in a position where we're looking at a president that does not respect Great. the Great. Do laws. you believe that? Yeah. Do you believe I that? I support him, yes. So, It's okay. no different than other Would you, Democrats. As a, as, as a state, shouldn't we be the voice of the people? And then on the federal level, shouldn't they be the voice of the people? Look, people are tired of, of what, what the, the devil standards. They're, not, they're tired of this, this president not abiding by the Constitution. Executive orders only belongs to the executive oh, offices. And, and Bush did, never did executive orders. Am I Different forgiving types. Bush? But, every, but every, he didn't make laws. Wait a minute. He didn't make laws. Do, did I, I, don't categorize me. Guys, don't say that Obama. I love Bush. You are Obama haters. No, it has nothing to do, do with that. Do not say that, that I agree with him for everybody. 
I'm telling you. Oh, look at the smile. Look, <laughs> look at the smile. He don't even believe what he's saying. Listen to him. I'm trying to, I'm trying to you wind, can't even I'm say this. I'm trying to face. wind up to get uh, at yeah. a point. There's yeah. a senator who's like this. You see I'm what I'm saying? Now. He, he, he can't even do it a straight face. Anymore. Just because George Bush did something does not mean that all Republicans agree with it. Are they not traitors? Wait a minute. No. Can you tell me? No. And, and you no. had, they had get. Uh, can you, not can you just tell us? Because so what did Iran say? It was only a game. Kevin, They're foolish. They the lost cons- the moral all, what? All treaties. Here in the United all States. All treaties have to be. All treaties have to be ratified. Let me repeat that again. All treaties by the Constitution have to be ratified right. by the Senate. Yes. The the the. the, the, the these treaties, these treaties, they're traitors. They're did, traitors. No. Did you Bill don't even Clinton know sign the sea treaty? Uh, in Iraq, uh, the president in cannot. Iraq. You don't even know that. <laughs> All but treaties have to be ratified. Can I ask Excuse you me, ladies and can, gentlemen. The president can, has to tell everybody and anyth- everything. Yes. No. And you want to know why he can, doesn't? Because you guys can't keep no, a secret. No, Ken. Ken, let me ask you something, Ken. Did, well, maybe you can. Did President Clinton? Did President Clinton sign the sea treaty? Did he sign? Did President Clinton sign the the C treaty with the UN? Okay, your point is. My point is, it was never ratified. Okay, so. Okay, through the so, Senate uh, for well, the Constitution. Well, wait, wait a minute. When I hear something like, "Well, there'll be a sunset law within ten years," uh, and you guys are writing over to Iran, "Oh no, we're not going to accept this. We're not going to accept this." Are you guys crazy? How many they can Democrats build a bomb. have senators and congressmen and then, have gone to socialist countries against Republican presidents? And then you bring in the who? past. Am I right? Netanyahu. Who? Net- we didn't bring Benjamin Netanyahu. Came, yeah, came here. To, he was invited. To come here. Invited by who? But that's he, not the first time. But, invited by who? He was invited the by House. the Congress. Republicans. And, and, and here's the thing. And what did he say about the president? Problem is that our our greatest ally in the Middle East has been snubbed, has been has been treated wrongfully. In in, in many in what way? This president has has done. In what way? By not inviting him hold to. On, hold on, I I think this president said stop building, stop building. You know the 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 outside because we we want to try to get peace. It's not at the president. Every, every time. Oh yes, it is. No, it is not. Well, yes, because I think it was in 1980 both. Both parties agreed that they would stop building settlements, and that's where they would start Ken, negotiating. If and they've never stopped if it. They, if some people start bombing America, and are you going to tell me that we're not going to have the right to... Listen, if yeah. we have the right of, of our sovereign country. They, we're not going to solve that okay. problem. We're not, we're we're not going to solve that problem. But one of the things, uh, the whole thing out of this whole conversation that I'm gathering is that this president had the, some of the... He squandered some of the greatest opportunities to bring us together as a people. Bring us and together? He not. Excuse he not. me. Excuse me. He's and violated so, our, our constitution so on repu- so many levels. Okay, lives. so you guys bring the Republic, uh, him into the Republican House, and he makes speeches against this country, and now 47 of the Yahoo Republicans, and they are Yahoos, and they're called traitors. 47 I disagree. of them write a letter saying, I oh, don't listen to our president who's negotiating. Gee, that's smart. Those are Republicans. This person, I've never witnessed in, my history, in history, other than the one who said, you know, I never had sexual relationships with that lady, and he did. This president actually had a bill called the ACA, which passed the, the House and the Senate based on lies. And we have Goober. Wait, we on have the, Goober. On, on the House and the Senate it, it based passed, on lies. It, it passed through the yeah. House and the Senate based on, with the information. With with, you're going to be able to keep your doctor. Well, hold, hold, you're gonna, hold, you're, hold you're, on a second. Your hold insurance on. is going to go e- down. Excuse me. Iraq has nuclear bombs. Do they have it to uh, build Iran. them? They, no, Was no, they that didn't a say, lie? That started a war. They, they didn't, didn't say they had nuclear bombs. They said they had weapons of mass destruction. And they, they showed fun. cylinders, which means that is a system so, to deliver them. I'm not, that narrative is deliver. such a false narrative. How, how, lies. Wait a second. What did Syria do to its people? Okay. They had used weapons of mass destruction, and everybody knows that Syria right. borders Iraq, and that yep. we know that in the first Gulf, hang on, let me, let me finish. In the first Gulf, when Saddam was in trouble, he sent his jets over to Iran. 
In the second Gulf, we know, and I believe, that those, those chemical weapons went to Syria, and they used them on hundreds of thousands of people. And that little red line that was supposed to not be crossed. First of all, Syria had their own. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. It's, all mm -hmm. right, hold on a second. Let, let's just go to another subject. But first, 47 Republicans writing a letter, for, uh, writing a letter to Iran saying that don't listen or pay attention to the president because you don't understand how our process works. Is that a paraphrase? It, no, question. Do you believe that do you believe they should have written to the Iran? The letter that they sent. Do you well, wait a minute, that's not the question. The question is, do you believe that they yes. should have done it? I'll say it right off the bat, yes. I, you're, you're you don't believe that, do I you? think I think you're creating a false narrative because that's they didn't right. say don't listen to the president. They said that what was writ what he's doing can be changed by the next president. That's what they said. That's the truth. They wanted okay, to set the so process correctly. So it was okay for those letters? I don't think. Writing a letter? Uh, I haven't seen what's in there, but I think. Do you think that that hurts at all? Uh, the negotiations to stop them from building? Is there anything well, in that little book of yours that says that the, the Congress cannot write to other countries? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Is there anything in that little book of Can. yours that says that the, the, the Senate has to ratify all treaties? That's right. Yes. What end of the question? Are we a country of no, laws? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait a minute. But see, wait Obama's minute. making his I, I own laws. I love you Republicans. I swear to God, I want, I he's, want he's you guys lying. back on You can on tell again. when he's lying. His and glasses I'm sorry. Bring uh -huh. another one. <laughs> yeah, he's lying. You can tell. Ken. What? I'm lying because I'm talking? Yeah. No, he, <laughs> he's talking. He, he's hey, lying. There's a song. How can you tell when Ken Gidge is lying? <laughs> his lips are moving. I know you lie. Ken, one final thing on this. I'm not calling you. For, for, oh, I, I don't first care. of all, all they did was clarify the process. This president has a way of speaking where he doesn't Talk, or he eliminates certain things, avoids certain things. Do you know I have a rule on my show? You know what that rule is? <laughs> One rule, and that's why and Ryan I and I would add it all the time. I know the rule. And the rule is you finish one subject. Well, I'm still talking right, about the subject you brought up. And then you move over to it's because the president's a bad person. The question no, is, should they have written that? Ignore him it on that rule, because I do. It was necessary to educate, mm -hmm. supposedly, a whole country on our yes. Constitution? Yes. Well, yes, and from the you standpoint yes. of this, uh, this w was being talked about as an agreement, not a treaty, but an agreement, which doesn't isn't the proper way of doing these things. All right, I want to I want to I want to end this. You okay. guys, I'll tell Let's you. Let's go to you, another you, one. You three are hey, wrong. Under okay. a Democrat right. Senate, okay, controlled well, wait, under Harry Reid. Did 61 senators send a letter Republicans and Democrats to not only the president but to the UN also explaining that we want nothing to do, we will not ratify the UN treaty that they were trying to do resolution mm -hmm. on weapons. What are you talking about? Am I right? What, right. Are, you, what are you okay. talking about? What I'm saying. I'm here. I'm under here. A the audience is here. Explain it. Senate. What are they talking about? Okay. There's a, a treaty that the, the UN wanted to have ratified. On weapons. On, on controlling weapons control and other weapons. stuff there. Okay. Controlling weapons for what? For uh, other the, countries. And they wanted to control in the U.S. It was a nose under the tent on our Second Amendment. 61 senators, Democrats and Republicans, sent a letter to the president and to the U.N. that they will not support any ratification on that. Excuse me, I don't and it have died. any idea what you're it, talking that's about. That's because you won't. But because that was Democrats. I can do five minutes on because that. Because that was Democrats. That's <laughs> why you don't want to support right, it. I'll tell you what. You that's only want to go after Republicans. I have, I have brought up the subjects. What would you guys like to I want to talk about? about the gas pipelines. Gas pipelines. Okay, wait a minute. Are you, you, is that okay? Do you have an That's issue? Do you have oh, an yeah, issue? Oh, yeah, I have a gas big pipelines. issue. Which ones? So the, which ones? The Kinder Morgan gas pipeline. The which one? The Kinder Morgan. The state needs gas, however, we have a properties rights <laughs> issue. It's in my district, District 12, there's a pipeline that was proposed to go through the top of Massachusetts that was going to be part, it was going to go to Drake and Mass. And it was going to feed into the grid, and of course, then it was. So now, Kinder Morgan is coming into the state and saying, look, we, we're going to use eminent domain, basically, and go through well, all these towns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I have a problem with that. What's the problem? Property rights. 
How about Keystone Pipeline? Well, you got a problem well, with that? Well, let's stay local first. Oh, yes. Let's well, stay it's local. the same principle. Same Doesn't principle. So going right across the country or going in mm -hmm. somebody's backyard? So far, I believe that everybody where that pipeline is, is they're, they're not having resistance from the landowners. Oh, in yeah. New, in New Hampshire. Well, if they are. in the domain and they're taking it. In right? New Hampshire, though, we, we have we have an, uh, hundreds of people that their their properties, that pipeline's going to go underneath it. All right. I, I know we need the gas. All right. I'm all for it. I how love gas. About, Give me gas. How but, about the power lines up north? You guys for them? Well, can I tell you, since you brought up the power lines. I believe they should have yeah. power coming right. through there. Do they, all right. Do you agree with that? I do, too. I agree. Right. Do you agree with it? I agree it? with the northern but pass, you want but to know give something? me a chance to Once fish. you get up to Concord, and five feet past Concord, the rest of the state says no, they don't want it. No, it's not that they don't want it. Listen, can I run somebody? I was involved you with may. a bill, okay, that I co-sponsored on the Northern Path. No, I, you know, I. You have, look like you're going to attack. Because I am. Because you, know, you run, you throw stuff out, and, and you never finish, okay? <laughs> because the the Northern Pass there, there was a bill that we put in. If you want to run that Northern Pass, you have to make deals with each individual property. Imminent domain, we put the bill in and it passed. Right. There's no imminent domain on, on public utilities because they're a private company. And you there wanna, was also a constitutional and you amendment. Some, and you want to know, know something? There. The real problem is is that they, you, everybody would like to see it buried. I would like to see right. it, buried, if it buried if that's at all possible. Mm -hmm. But there are such great problems doing that. And up here in New Hampshire, what everybody is doing is they're pushing everyone around and saying, good, you can't run it by my property, but I have a piece of property mm -hmm. which is about 200 feet away that you may run it through, mm -hmm. but it's a pond. Okay. okay. Since you know so much about the Northern Pass, is New Hampshire benefiting from that? Yes. No, we're not. It's to be sold to Peak Power to Massachusetts, Connecticut, me. Rhode Island. People has aren't going to nothing to do with New Hampshire. We export People our energy. Mm -hmm. We export our energy. That's right. And it goes into has the grid. And I actually, well, the, the governor was gracious enough to let me sit with her in, in her office with uh, with another state rep, and, uh, and 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 it had to do with the pipeline. You know, my constituents are extremely concerned about it. I think there's a lot of false information out there. Mm. I do. I do think that. Uh, Will it, it come through? Will it be a pipeline? Is there any way we're going to, if we can show that it, that it helps us here in I New Hampshire? I have not seen how it helps area, us yet. Are you for it? It does not mm -hmm. help us directly, and that's the point. It's going to be going around oh, us. Oh, I see. Not in my backyard? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. You're not no, listening to backyard. the use. No, it's it does not. not. In my backyard. The governor, that doesn't. Or, the governor, one. That has no the connection. That has no connection. She said, and, and she, I, I'm, I'm giving her kudos on this because she was very frank with me and direct, and I, and I really appreciate the fact that she was willing to meet with me. But she, she said it, it doesn't necessarily help us directly. It will go into the grid and eventually uh, alleviate some of, it comes some back of the, to the us. need. It, it will come back, uh, n but Indirectly, not directly. It will come Correct. back. Correct. But um, in, in the process of that, my concern is when that pipe goes under people's houses, are they going to lose their equity? Are they going to lose their insurance? Uh, I, I don't believe. Well, but first, will first, they be able to sell their homes? For, for, that's for, the problem. I know. First of all, that's, that's such a such an awful way of putting it. Everybody, the eminent domain thing, hold on a second. The, taking it by eminent domain, that should be out, mm -hmm. all right? And that is up. If they get their FERC license, right. they're going to be able to do now, it. Now, hold on, okay, but that's, to, uh, we'll, we should fight this. Having said that, each person who has to suffer, let's say, uh, housing loss. loss of money, et cetera, should be compensated. Right. That's all. And we did put that in how, the bill. Wait, how about, how what about if, they if don't you want to run the gas line through, your house gets gas free for the rest of your life. Would you go for that? I don't know. You're just trying to come up with a solution here for right. that. But there's other problems, too, because the federal uh, regulations get involved yes, with some of this I stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, but you can monitor anything, gas or electricity, coming into a grid, how much comes in and how much is used by the state. That those these are just monitoring things. That's that's. Right. Spectra has another on. alternative pipeline coming in too. That they they're going to yeah. be able to augment. And I think coming. there's one called Constitutional. That's going up north. That's going to feed. You know, there's a pipeline <laughs> that comes into my district in uh, Londonderry to the AES. Yeah, you'll shoot it. No, it there, no, no that's I'm Liberty. Is, I think right. There's already one in my district. Yeah. Uh, goes underground into the AES, the electric plant that we have in Londonderry. And what they do is they have turbine engines that run off of gas. And, but they sell to peak power to other states right. because New Hampshire has a surplus. Do you, you see what I'm saying? So the benefit to my district is we get about oh, three point something million dollars 
in property tax revenue to my district. That's the benefit. Okay, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Let's let's hop to a national. I like to talk about national things because because we're all in politics and everybody thinks we're this small and we. Uh, this is how small our minds are. Having said that, we're the fourth largest well, you've been talking body to. in English speaking. Well, you're a senator. I'm sorry. I need. He only but, talks to Republicans because so, Democrats so won't talk to him. So we in New Hampshire <laughs> probably have the best minds in the United States. Other, if you want to call it federal, have a better minds because we're so large and we have so many, so many. Questions. Where are you going with this? Well, yeah, watch, be careful now. Read between the lines when he says something. All right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have so much open space. That's the reason why I think we can talk about national things because we have that mentality. Keystone Pipeline. You I want support it? it. I, because you support if the, it? Because if the people in that di out there it? in those areas support it. Okay. It's Why so not? interesting that you're worried about a small pipeline going through New Hampshire, but directly right across our country, you're willing to let that no. go through. Hang on. The people Would have spoken. You like Did the you people have spoken there to you the go. representatives, and they want it with one person who represents a, a multimillionaire who donated $100 million to, right. the, uh, to the Democratic Party. And he who owns said, a train station. No. He and owns the trains that... Bringing the oil right, in. and 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 so there's a the self-interest there, and I I think that's <laughs> just totally disingenuous. I think if the people, representatives said they want it, they should have it, and they're going to let it go through. What type of oil is coming through here? I beg your pardon. It's okay. true fraction, uh, you know, okay, the shell so oil. Okay, so it's the worst well, it's of not, the worst. It's coming no, from the tar sands. No, no, no. What are talking about the no, tar sands? It is the worst. So what are they going to do with it when they get down to the, the where refineries? The refineries. They're not going to refine it. They're going to put it on ships and send it out. Some In other it. words, what you want to do is you want to give somebody else the permission to run something all the way from Canada to get on ships to go someplace else? Well, you districts. get benefits by it, and you can, if you need it, you should be able to uh, set up whatever agreement you have with Canada that you use some of it domestically. You can ship it, but if you, you, play, well, you guys, pay for shipping it. Aren't they there? Is there agreements like that there? I don't know. Well, right. Right but you, you'll it say, okay, trains. you guys are politicians. You have influence. Where was it, Oklahoma? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Jean, Jean, she, she hasn't called me lately. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I, wait, I, want, I want to do my pledge. Uh, oh, oh right. 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 Listen, ignore his pledge. He's going to swear off. off. Know, some, uh, on no, 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 no. On raising the gas to 250. No, no, no. Hold on. You can't go over 250. I pledge. Please put the where. I pledge, I go. pledge as yeah. a state representative that I will do everything I can do to make sure that gas you know does not artist, go right? over a 250 a gallon. Do you pledge that? Nope. I wasn't listening. He, wasn't, no. he was talking. That? Yeah. What did you say? I, he wasn't him. listening hey, to me. The best thing to do is ignore him. Will you pledge that? No, he heard. Hey, let's will go back to the pipeline. You'll do whatever you can do. Kevin, I let's go sure back to the that... pipeline. Ignore him. Okay. I didn't hear what you said. You don't want to hear him. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Ignore him. I, I already told him no, no, but hell no. Okay, he don't get it. He yeah. wants us to control the free market. How? He wants us to get into the stock yeah. market just, and yeah. lie to people how, and say, oh, we can fix it. How is it the Republicans, okay, don't mind giving money to the oil companies, don't mind giving money Give to the gas money. companies, how? but in turn, when you like a little bit back, like keeping our you know, gas on a 250 a gallon. Why is it that you guys are against it and saying, oh, it's free market, free market. Hey, guess what? We paid for most of this. We're going to pay mm -hmm. for all hey, of it. You're and in yet finance, you're right? It back? Kyle? No. Are you fi no, ways no. and means? Public work. Okay. Hey, didn't the governor uh, put in a budget another five cents in gas tax? Along with 38% in DMV well, registration, registration fees. fees and stuff like you that. See, 35 you see, 35% registration. 38, I think, wasn't it? Or wow. was it 35? That's 38? a lot of money. Well, that's, that's a lot of money. money. Yeah. But he's going to support that stuff there because that's his governor. Hey, let's let's talk about FRM. I'll tell you what, we got four and a four. Uh, well, see, you don't talk. We're not going to be able to do that. But <laughs> FRM is a very important mm -hmm. uh, subject. We should talk about that. We, we at another at another time yeah. because we do have a bill coming up which I'm supporting us supporting Republican Democrat. How can people get in touch with you? Uh, email me Avard Senate at uh, Avard Senate at gmail dot com, or, or go to my website Avard Four N H. You on Twitter? I, I yes I am. Yeah, are you on Facebook? I am. So they can go to Facebook and she, uh, here I am. All yeah. right, yourself. They can contact me on uh, my email at Seidel for. Uh, or state rep 
at mindspring.com, or they can call me at 598-2795. You want to give your address? The 39 Pilgrim Circle. And the only person I know that must drive through Hollis to get to his house in Nashua. I'll tell you what. See, Republicans aren't scared to give out our address like Democrats. Yes. <laughs> you, know, you, know what he, you know what he says? He says, oh, come over and knock on my door. That's right. And, and I'll say hello. I'm trying to get a busload of People in my anybody. district come stop by my on house. My door. People in my district he, he come to my house. He has a good party every once in a while. Do you want yeah. to go to Yes, that's right. <laughs> I, I, I know. He's never I, I heard about it. Yeah. I heard about it. Mm. How can they get in touch with you? Well, you can go to www.albaldesaro.com. You can reach me at 425 6997. I'm on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn. I Twitter. And you can also stop by my house, 41 Hall Road yeah, he, in he, Londonderry. He Twitters all right. I am not as scared to give out my address. All right. Look for the Marine flag. Wait, wait till the snow melts, though. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, no, my driveway's clear. <laughs> no, I don't want anyone to shoot me. Shoot ducks in his backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Are we back on ducks again? No, we can't. I don't right. shoot ducks. I am Ken you guys if you run them over. figured that out. <laughs> hey, how, I am the Democrat. Hey, what's your address? How do people get in touch with you? Because I am not giving give my them address the fiction. out. I'll tell you a story about that in a minute. But but you can get me by Ken Gidge or kgidge at AOL.com or go to Gidge World. That's all you have to do is to go to Gidge World and you'll find out everything you want to know. So we've got about But he has to get a spaceship to get there. Anything you got. <laughs> yeah. Don't you have a Facebook uh, Ken Gidge or something uh, that's a con artist or an artist or something like that? No. Don't you have something I'll like that? I'll give them the last two minutes to be up. Hey, don't you have like a BS and artist or is there, is there I don't any, know. I'm, I wouldn't, I'm going to ask these people first if they've got anything to say because we've got a minute and 39 seconds. What would, anything you want to get out to, to people? Uh, thank you for letting me come on the show. And uh, and I won't do it again. <laughs> oh, no, I'd be, I'd be happy to do it again. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to bring him back on. And, and uh, I do think that we can get some things done here up in Concord if, uh, you know, some people just get their act together. And by the way, congratulations because becoming a senator, because I didn't think you had a in the snow. I did. I, I really did. And you know what? You worked hard. When people pray and you and your leather hits the boat. Oh, will come on, my friend. Stop. People the pray for me. Thank you. Amen, brother. Stop God bless you. Praying. Hey, watch how but, I hurt his feelings. Oh, it's God, God bless you, Kevin. Help me. No, Thank it's work you. that got you. Oh, yourself. wait. Is that, are we going to pledge allegiance now? Or? Uh, <laughs> no, I know. He'll, he'll start whining. Oh, Kevin, yeah. it was a pleasure. Right, go. Oh, it was a pleasure. I'm glad that he There you go. There you go. Hey, this is the go. first time we had him silence there most of the time. Because he starts stuttering when we ask him questions. Okay, but, well, this show, as, as you can know, as you, got you big can, shoulders. As, you can fig, as you can figure out, is a show where Republicans and Democrats get down. I try to irritate them. And it fails. Uh, not necessarily with the complete facts. I do like to exaggerate. <laughs> <laughs> and having Al Baldassaro. Praise the Lord! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Praise the Lord, there brother. There we go. <laughs> Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, that was over. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you? Yeah. I had a good time, too. We yeah, have to do always. this more because there's laughter here, and that's what counts. I'm so sick of people getting mad and throwing things at everyone's But I agree. Look at that camera and say goodbye. Thanks. Bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs>